Is it possible to fill this table with beds so there are no empty spaces left? This is my favorite one so far. Okay, so there seems to be a new thing that people are doing once again. It's called rock, paper, scissors, but in Minecraft. I have noticed this trend before, but I've kind of just shrugged it off because it was a one-off thing, but it seems like a lot of people are doing it now. Here's the one that popped up on r slash phoenix sc. Got a cactus, netherite axe, and a fence. Now this one's interesting because it kind of confused a few people. The first bit is pretty obvious. Here's your cactus, and if you throw an axe onto the cactus or any item, the cactus destroys the item. Next one is the fence, and of course, if you have an axe, an axe is used for wooden blocks, so it breaks the fence really quickly. And thirdly, the fence beats the cactus. This one is fairly interchangeable because any block that sits diagonally adjacent to a cactus will destroy the cactus when it grows. So when the cactus grows up, it breaks because there's a block over there and that becomes an illegal placement. If anyone has ever built a cactus farm, fences are often used because it's a cheap block and it has a very small hitbox so the cactus, just like that one, doesn't normally fall onto the cactus itself because there's enough room for it to fall between it. So yes, a fence beats a cactus. There is some confusion regarding this post because a cactus can easily destroy any item. Like you can just throw a fence onto the cactus and it destroys it. So this is not a perfect representation of Minecraft rock, paper, scissors. So after some research into this trend, here is another one very similar. It seems to always involve a cactus and netherite. Here a netherite ingot destroys lava because it's immune to lava, and then lava burns a cactus. Seems to be a repeating trend. And another one, but this one uses a lava bucket. The problem once again being that cactus destroys everything, so it's a bit contentious. Now this is a funny one. Creeper, Steve, and an ocelot. The player frightens an ocelot, ocelot wards off creepers, and a creeper blows up Steve. This is once again not perfect because Steve can quite easily kill a creeper without the creeper blowing up, so I don't know. Here is another one I found. This one's rather interesting because it assumes that a bow is better than an axe. Now, I think some of you guys may prefer melee over ranged weapons, but this one is quite good because an axe destroys a shield. A shield does protect you from bows, but it has to assume that a bow is stronger than an axe. I don't really see too much logic in this. Bows can fight axes and axes can fight bows. So what exactly is the most perfect way to do this? How can we represent rock, paper, scissors in Minecraft with unerring accuracy? Can we use mobs? <laughs> Next, foxes seem to murder chickens quite easily. However, the question has to be asked, can a chicken murder a polar bear? Hell yeah. I just think in general, round food chains are hard to come by. And then I thought, can I incorporate items into it? So I think I finally found the best sort of way to get around this issue. And maybe you guys think it's okay. So here is my ultimate, very precise, infallible Minecraft rock, paper, scissors. Here it is. It's the best one, you can't deny. 